Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with a tag video. This is the ABCs of Polish tag, I think is what it's called. And basically it is a tag where we go through our nail polish collections and show you a nail polish beginning with each letter of the alphabet. Um, the first person that I saw do this was Lisa and Lisa was the one that tagged me to do this. So I will link her channel down below where you can check out her original video. This also has been going around on Instagram this month as um, like ABCs of untried, so I think people have been doing. So I thought it was a good time for me to try and get this video up this month to be joining in with everybody else that's doing it. So we're going to go through my ABCs of nail polish. I kind of just went randomly, I haven't, I've tried to in, in a way kind of pick older polishes that I haven't spoken about on my channel for a while. So I'm briefly going to speak about each one and show you a swatch photo. I should get started because there's a lot of polish to talk about. A is for Amy by Zoya, of course I would have to pick my namesake polish, although I don't really love orange nail polishes, so if it was me and I was in charge of my nail shade I probably wouldn't have picked orange. This is beautiful though where it has these lovely like um, bright yellow flecks in there that give this this sort of like burn ember effect to your nails. So A is for Amy by Zoya. B is for the classic Bikini Sotini by Essie. This is a cult classic. If you're new to nail polish or new to Essie, you definitely need to pick this one up. It's a light cornflower blue with a little bit of silver shimmer in there. The silver shimmer is subtle. It's not going to be on your nails so much, but it's just a nice addition. makes it slightly different. So B is for Bikini Sotini by Essie. C is for Champers by Butter London and this is a beautiful kind of like rose gold foil polish. I absolutely love shades like this. It fits the name Champers which is obviously champagne very nicely. So overall a good like if you need like a good solid rose gold I would definitely recommend this. So C is for Champers by Butter London. D is a newer one and this is Dressed to the 90s by Essie. It came out in the recent fall um, collection based on the 90s and it's just a really nice dark purple with a little bit of a green shimmer there. The shimmer is stronger in the bottle than on the nail but nevertheless it is there. So D is for Dressed to the 90s by Essie. E is for Excuse Me Big Sur, which came out in the Summer California collection. Just a beautiful, kind of like really light coral. It's not quite pink, it's not quite peach, it's right in the middle there and it's just so stunning. So E is for Excuse Me Big Sur. F is for Fearlessly Alice and this came out in the, oh my god was that last year now, the years are flying by. It came out in the, um, in the Through the Looking Glass Alice in Wonderland collection. It's just a beautiful bright blue cream, nothing too different about it, it's just a straight up cream formula but it is a beautiful blue shade. So F is for Fearlessly Alice by OPI. G is for Gotham City by Dollish Polish. This is a beautiful top part, I don't know if you can see. It's got a mixture of black and then bright, like a, almost like turquoisey blue. It's absolutely stunning. I think my swatch is over a grey and it just like pops. And it's really nice because it's kind of like the DC logo colours, like the black and the blue. So I really, really like that for all those reasons. So G is for Gotham City by Dollish Polish. H is for High Hopes by China Glaze. This is a bordering on neon um, pink. I want to say it's a little bit of red in there as well, but it definitely is more of a red toned pink. So um, H is for High Hopes. I is for I Just Can't Copacabana, which is one of the best yellow formulas out there on the market, especially from mainstream brands. It came out a few years ago in the Brazil collection, but I actually just saw this on sale in TK Maxx, so it's definitely still around. So I is for I Just Can't Copacabana by OPI. J is the one which is for a very good a seasonal appropriate polish and J is for Jack O'Lantern Juice by 9-0. This is one of the re-promotes that has just come back out for Halloween from her so as this video is going up in October I thought it would be a good feature to show you a Halloween polish. So J is for Jack O'Lantern Juice. K 
is for Katyusha by um, A England. This is a beautiful, really weird colour. It's kind of like a grey base with a ton of like multi-chrome and there's a silver shimmer in there and there's different colour flashes. It's really weird, really different. If you're into sort of unusual shades like I am, definitely get this one. So K is for Katyushka by A England. I hope I'm not rattling through these too quick. I had in my head that I had to go fast because there's like 20 odd polishes. Um, L is for Love A Lot There by Princess Nail Lacquer. This was part of their Care Bears collection that I did do a full review on. It's just a beautiful, I don't know, it's kind of like, again, a, like a corally pink, but it's super bright bordering on neon. These are great for the springtime. So L is for Love A Lot There by Princess Nail Lacquer. M is for Meet My Decorator, and this came out in the Breakfast at Tiffany's collection over Christmas last year, which seems like it wasn't that long ago, but we're almost at Christmas for this year, so things are moving fast. Um, it's just a stand-up bright red like, cream formula. If you have other bright reds, you don't need this, but it fitted the M theme nicely. M is for Meet My Decorator by OPI. N is by Orly and this is Nourishingly Nude and this is part of their Orly Breathable um, nail treatment line. It's one that's meant to be um, not as, I guess, harsh chemicals so it allows your nails to breathe and heal and grow while giving you a little bit of a pop of colour on there. So N is for Nourishingly Nude by Orly. O is for O Whale, which is one of my favourite glam polishes. It's a beautiful kind of like cornflower blue base with a ton of navy glitters in there. And there's also a little purple flash to it as well. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I can't think when this came out, maybe a couple of years ago now. Glam Polish does bring out a lot of collections. And I know this came out with ones that were all like sea creatures. Um, so O is for O Whale by Glam Polish. P is for Pop Art by Candy Lacquer, and this is a beautiful glitter topper with kind of like every colour imaginable. They're all very bright, they're all very, I guess, middle-sized glitters, and then there's also um, a fine scattering of black glitters in the background. A great, bright, fun topper. So P is for Pop Art by Candy Lacquer. Q is for Queen B, which is one of my favourite china glaze. It's this really nice, I guess, indigo colour. I think if you think of indigo, this is one of the colours that you think of. It's just a beautiful cream formula. It came out in a full collection a couple of years ago, I believe. It's just, it's just a stunning indigo. Um, so Q is for Queen B by China Glaze. R is for Rose Bower by A England and it's just a beautiful um, like mid-toned red with a ton of holographic in here so it does kind of look like it's almost like on fire. Um, I like reds when they've got other things added to them so they look like really like vibrant and bright. Um, so R is for Rose Bower by A England. S is for Strawberry Fields by China Glaze. This is a beautiful bright pink with a ton of gold shimmer in here. Um, I like this one just for the Beatles reference alone and it's a really beautiful colour. I'm not a huge fan of bright pinks but the pink shimmer in this just elevates it and makes it stunning. Um, so S is for Strawberry Fields by China Glaze. T is for the Eyes Have It, which also came out in that same collection as Fearlessly Alice that I already showed you, which was Alice Through the Licking Glass. Um, and this is just a beautiful, bright but pastel blue, maybe one drop of purple in there. So something slightly different, um, but just a really nice like pastel colour and formula. Nothing, again, nothing too unique about it. T is for the Eyes Have It by OPI. U is for Use the Force Luke by Danglefoot. This came out, I think, when the new Star Wars film came out, so you won't be able to get your hands on this anymore. It's just a really nice grey polish with a ton of, I think, a ton of silver shimmer, and there's also a blue flash in there as well. I do have the entire, like, quad that she released with this set. They are beautiful polishes. Danglefoot's a really great UK brand. Um, and so, yeah, U is for Use the Force Luke. V is for Venice, which is by Illamasqua, and this is a really nice, um, like dark, tealy, turquoisey colour. I feel on the scale of teal, this leads more green than more blue, and it's obviously something a little darker. Just a straight up cream formula. V is for Venice by Illamasqua. 
W is for Wayward Son by 90 Lacquer. This came out in last year's, um, was it last year? Yeah, Supernatural Collection, which was the Autumn range, and this is representing Dean Winchester. It's a really nice green with again a few drops of purple in purple, a few drops of blue in there, and it is a hollow as well. So it's like a lovely murky green hollow that's perfect for this time of year. So the W is for Wayward Son by 90. X I didn't have anything for. I know of a few polishes that are named with X, but uh, as much as me racking through these drawers, I could not think of anything. Um, because I used to have a spreadsheet where I would put all my nail polishes on there, but um, it deleted itself, so I now have no idea really off the top of my head without racking through the drawers. So if I think of anything while I'm editing, I will put a picture in here, but for now, I can't find an X. Y is for You Autumn No, which is a great autumnal Crelly by KB Shimmer. It's a white base with then orange, yellow, purple um, hex glitters in there and then orange bar glitters. So Y is for You Autumn No by KB Shimmer. And I actually had a few more options for Z than I thought, but I went for Z is for Zoe by Zoya, because it's a double Z, Zoe and Zoya. Um, and this is a great pixie dusk. It's a nice, like, mid-toned pink with a ton of um, gold shimmer but silver glitters in. It's really weird and unique. I only have it in the little bottle, but I am tempted to get a full size, especially if they do the Black Friday sale this year. So Z is for Zoe by Zoya. So that is my A to Z of nail polish. I hope I didn't run through that too quickly. I definitely didn't want to make it a long video, but now I'm wondering I went through too quick. Um, a full list of the polishes will be down below, along as, well, along as with any indie sellers that were mentioned. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you to Lisa for tagging me. I tag Amanda, Jess, Holly, and Zanora. You guys need to get on this tag, and I know some of you have got bigger collections than me, so I have faith you'll be able to find a polish starting with X. Um, let me know down below if you've got any, any unusually named polishes um, and I will see you soon. Bye.